Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys. And we got another unit. This one's a five by eight. So bigger than what we usually got, but not as big as that big mama we did last. But it looks to be completely loaded, all full of clothes and all kinds of other awesome stuff. So without further ado, let's start digging. All right, guys, so before we get into the locker, I just want to say this one's going to be a little bit different. There were a lot of people cleaning out lockers on the same floor as us right beside us. So we kind of recorded this one in bits and pieces and pushed everything together. Sorry if the video is a little weird, but trust me, one of the best finds we've ever had. All right, guys, so we have an opportunity. There's the carts down. Let's show you what we can show. First thing first, we also have an HP Office Jet Pro 6978. Not really sure if that's a high-end printer or just a cheap, you know, home printer. But still, on the low end, I say it still fits, you know, 15, 20 bucks. We also got an entire basket just loaded with books, which will most likely just be donated to a school. So that's what we do with those. Let's see what we got in here. All kinds of, all right, there we go. Who wants something to eat? What is this? Oh, what is that? Sugar, flour, something? I don't know. It looks grimy. And we have all kitchen stuff again, like actual food stuff, not just pots and pans. Actual food. All right, guys, so we also got Under Armour hoodie here. I mean, I don't think they're worth too much, but it's a decent, well-known enough brand that it's worth selling. Like, probably, honestly, five to 10 bucks for a used hoodie. This one, a sock. sock bag, yay. Not really, but that kind of stuff you can just donate because it's not worth selling socks, unless they're new. That's probably more of the same. I don't know. We got some clothes in here. What do we got? A sweater. AGB. Ever heard of that? Nope. I have not. But, yeah. All right here. So we got nest bag. Just more clothes. Yeah, bed sheets. All right, so let's keep going and see what we got. Looks like a bunch of clothes. Is that Air Force? Look at that. Look at kid's Air Force jacket. Uh, okay, yeah, that's a kid. I was gonna say, that's a badass kid. <laughs> He's in the Air Force. Trying to throw the clothes up. Just making sure, we're, hey. The North Face. This is a coder vest. This is actually a kid's coat. This is probably, I mean, it's still 20 bucks or so. It's even used because it's North Face. Put that the other side. This one, Tommy Hilfiger, still a pretty decent brand. I'll throw that over here. Man, there's just so many people in here. That's why this video is so awkward, but we're doing what we can do. Adidas. Oh yeah, Fireman, this kid's an Air Force and Fireman. This kid's a savage. Uh, what do we have here? Free Country, decent brand. Remember these are worth a decent amount. Not like North Face amount, but still good. Yeah, what is this? Faded Glory, that's all Navy, I think, right? It's all uh, Navy or Walmart. So. I'm not sure. All right, let's see. All like pajamas and things like that, so donation clothes. Uh, let's see, what's in the bag? Hmm. What do we got in here? A bag and a bag and a box. That makes it interesting. Hangers. Oh boy, hangers are my favorite. <laughs> All hangers. Ugh, hate hangers. Alright. Um like, like, another bag of just clothes here, so set it over here for a donation. Over here. You can see that, can you? Yeah, it's just cup. kitchen stuff. Yeah. Oh, well, I just ripped somebody's magazine. Bad me. What is this? Oh, is that Pokemon cards? Oh, it's not snit. <laughs> Cigarettes. Just school stuff. Oops. Sorry if I just hit the camera. Looks like more paperwork, my favorite. 
who doesn't love like super heavy back breaking junk? Worth zero. That's all paperwork. Let me get this one out the way. And this one is, let's see. In here we got, oh, medical supplies. A whole bunch of medical supplies, wow. All right. All right guys, so we got some good news. Happened to come across another bag with shoes and let's look at all the pairs we have now. So we got the blue foams right here. Found the other pair of these, the Airs. So they're complete. Obviously they're unclean right now, but from what we see, they are definitely cleanable. We threw a couple pair of Nikes to the side for donation because I don't think they're fixable or worth it. But we got the North Face boots right now. These, well, in that new bag, I mean these LeBron, they look pretty much brand new. Look at that. They don't even look like they've been worn at all. Are they zooms? Over here, those look like they're pretty much new. Over here, they're just snow boots. I don't think they're a good brand or anything. Then we also got these that look like they're in really good shape as well. These blue ones, they're just Nikes, but again, that's just dirt. That'll wipe right off with a wipe or a shoe cleaner. So that's another one pair. Lastly, we got these as well. So a lot of pairs of shoes ended up coming out of there, which we were hoping for. So a lot of money right here. Well, guys, you just saw the shoes. We started looking through this book bag here and look what we found in there. A little something soft in a freaking PlayStation 4. Wow. That's insane. I only have an Xbox One, so PS4 is kind of cool. Let's see what else is in there. We didn't even look to see if they had games or anything like that. We have, what is that? This is like school stuff. Oh, Put come on. on. We want PS4 games and controllers and at least the hookup. What's that? Oh, I thought that was a handheld at first. How do you, okay, it has to be in here somewhere. But it's not in here, so we'll definitely keep searching. Maybe, hopefully we'll find the hookup and maybe games, controllers, if so, that would be epic. All right, guys, we just found another little box and look what we happen to find in there. It's a little bit grimy, as you can see. There's like brown stuff around the buttons, but as you can see, it works. So if the controller works, I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess the PlayStation is gonna work too. Also found another phone. It's not Apple hurtful. or anything. This. Can you try? Uh, no, it's not. But most likely it's dead. Yeah. A lot of them will still cut on, but it's, if it's not Apple, it's most likely like you take it to an eco ATM and cross your fingers and hope for the best, or lot them up and sell them on eBay. But PlayStation, and we have the controller. You have to find the hookup or any games yet, so fingers crossed that's coming too. Guys, we just found, look at this box. It was low, uh, labeled broken electronics and extension cords, and I doubt this is gonna work, but a freaking iPad. <laughs> look at the front of it pretty beat up so I seriously seriously doubt it's gonna work but even broken you can get a good amount of money off these and look at this this is full of phones it looks like Apple too they have their iPhones there's an iPhone that's a cricket behind it but this is an iPhone not is sure which, huh? I mean cracked or anything no wow so an iPhone what model is that do you guys know yeah cuz you know me oh wait is it on the back no, I don't know it just says iPhone look hey. it looks like new one though <laughs> It might have an internal crack on it because the yeah. box is labeled broken electronics. So, right. uh, what else do we have in here? Just a couple random cheap phones. Yeah, nothing else expensive. Like you said, Cricket. Well, uh, another Cricket. ZTE. So nothing else expensive, but what else? freaking iPad. Let's see what else is in this box. Look in there. It's mostly just like all wires and remotes and things like that. Maybe the wire to the PS4 would be in there. All else I see in there is extension cord. So we'll keep going and then we'll let you know if we get any further in this. All right, guys, so we have finished going through everything and this unit just keeps on giving. It doesn't <laughs> stop. $20 unit, but look at this. Two, they're extremely dirty, of course, but once they clean up, two Nintendo DS's, or two DS's, right? Yeah. Yeah, two DS's. Pretty sure they're two DS's. Yeah, and then we got one Samsung tablet. I don't know if this is just a kid's tablet or if it's a real tablet, just anything meant for a kid, so haven't really taken it out yet. But that one, another Samsung freaking tablet. And by the way, the two DS's were in this case. So at first, I thought we were gonna have something bigger, but still, two more two DS's. Two D. Let's, let's try to like tally this up. <laughs> but like three or four tablets, P 
PS4, two 2DSs, two uh, Samsung tablets, an iPad even though it's broken, and like seven phones, a bunch of shoes, North Faces, and Helly Hansen. I'd say that's $20 well spent. <laughs> yeah. Even though this video was a little bit weird recording, a little bit of different style because there's so many people around, this freaking storage unit ended up being absolutely epic. There were so many things in there and it didn't look like it was going to start out that way. It started out slow, but you know what? This is the reason I like to bid on those cheap units that have a bunch of trash bags in it. People are like, why do you bid on trashy looking units? Because honestly, they're like 10 bucks. I can buy 15 of them and spend $150 and if I just get one good one just like this you're making five times your money on the resale alone this one i don't even know where to start so hundreds of dollars in shoes easily and these shoes were in pretty much great condition you can't really tell that well in the video but they were just dusty from being in there once you take a few baby wipes to them and everything those things are sparkly clean brand new looking so good prices you might actually end up getting more than we priced them for in the video just because they are once they um, were wiped up they looked fine I didn't expect them to so that's a positive now let's get into more positives there's a lot of positives now most of the phones they all cut on the iPad unfortunately no but it's still if you look on eBay you can see iPad sell for parts still $30 sometimes more than that just for parts both of the two DS's cut on PlayStation 4 the wires were in there that also cuts on the tablets, Samsung tablets, also cut on, and they're not even cracked. So all these things are working flawlessly, which is obviously or unexpectedly good. I didn't expect it to happen, if I'm being honest with you. I thought they were going to be kind of junk, maybe sell for parts, still make good money. But the fact that all this stuff works is freaking incredible. And other than the one North Face that you've seen in the video, we also came across another North Face jacket, a Helly Hansen jacket. Uh, there were two jerseys too. I don't think I put them on the video either. We had a Steph Curry jersey and a LeBron James jersey. So two jerseys. I think they were both authentic too, along with another Helly Hansen and another North Face. So a lot more money. You're probably talking about another $100 to maybe almost $200 in clothes that we didn't even include on the video. So this could be really, really close to another $1,000 unit and again it was only a $20 easy clean out 5x8 so honestly in my opinion this is the favorite my favorite unit we've ever cleaned out even though it's not the highest profits but it just happened to have a lot of gaming stuff in there and as a gaming nerd I was happy to do it but anyway guys that's gonna be it for this one so thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up if you're not already hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time and if you do want to follow us on our social media links will be on screen just click links down in the description below make sure you follow us on whatever you have thank you so much for watching until next time peace out